yes they are overlooked because of multiple reasons we have a, a bad understanding of uh, mental illness in itself right so of course that includes depression because of denial because of lack of uh, awareness because of stigma because of fear In Lahore, 53.4 percent of the people used in a study by Amin A. Muhammad Gadid and Jerry Mugford suffered or were suffering from depression. In the same study, Quetta had 43.9 percent and Karachi had 35.7 percent. The regional difference in numbers may be due to local culture and social adversities. People who suffer from depression may be fearful of opening up about it. Many people with depression don't get treatment. Not getting treatment doesn't do any good at all. So the question stands: Why do people avoid getting treatment? Why do they fall into denial? To get a better view of things, we interviewed Dr. Fatima Altaf, psychologist, and Dr. Rashid Kayum, psychiatrist. Basically, we have a, a bad understanding of uh, mental illness in itself, right? So of course that includes depression. I'm going to tell you that yes, in Pakistan, people have misunderstanding or lack of understanding about depression. Not only depression, but all the psychiatric disorders. And uh, the perception in our society, basically, and uh, especially in our society, is that a person is probably responsible for their own depression or their low mood. and uh, that it's arising from some sort of you know uh, lack of faith or uh, some sort of ingratitude or something like that so people do have a very bad understanding of it and a very wrong conception of it not everyone but many people have misunderstanding myths and misconceptions about psychiatric disorders Uh, yes, in my experience, as well as uh, whatever studies I have gone through, uh, in general, there has been an increase in psychiatric disorders. Oh yes, there has been definitely uh, an increase in uh, mental health issues during the pandemic. Uh, uh, a lot of evidence is pointing towards that. In fact, uh, uh, I think what I uh, generally, um, uh, you know. uh this tell my clients most of my clients that we are going through a phase of global uh, uh sort of or a collective uh, depression at this moment so we are globally depressed all of us because this uh, pandemic has impacted us to uh, the extent of you know uh, affecting our interactions social interactions our relations with our families and uh, you know being cooped up and being uh, uh, you know uh, Uh, locked up inside our homes with a few family members and not being able to hang out with other people, all that, and then the uh, the element of fear that persists, you know, in the atmosphere around us in the environment when there is such a pandemic. So all that has definitely affected uh, uh, our mental health, and there has been a, an increase in uh, mental health issues uh, over the past one and a half years, I'd say. But those who have uh, predisposition. towards psychiatric disorders mostly they had relapse of illnesses but yes there were people who didn't have any previous history of psychiatric disorders they were also found to have psychiatric disorders this went to a study in published in lancet and they found uh, it was a retrospective study uh, done after 6 months of covid and those people who have had uh, covid they were found to have much higher uh, incidence of uh, psychiatric disorders and neurological disorders as compared to general population uh yes they are overlooked because of multiple reasons because of denial because of lack of uh, awareness because of stigma because of fear that people are not going to accept them or because of uh, their own perception that it is their own weakness and uh, so, so there are multiple reasons behind this and that's what uh, they are uh, not very open to accept
so my advice to those who are suffering but don't want to uh, or haven't been able to get any hip professional help is that first of all please don't deny that you are suffering from an illness it's an illness secondly it is not your fault it's not something which is uh, in their imagination it's not their weakness it is just like any other physical ailment and uh, it is not their fault it is not their weakness and mostly they are treatable and sooner the better if they go to the doctor if they go to the psychiatrist if they get advice if they go to the psychologist um, or even to sharing uh, their uh, psychological issues with their uh, friends secondly and it is not your fault thirdly getting professional help is very important because sometimes when we are in a state of depression we feel alone we try to hide those feelings and then that results in you know um uh, some sort of um, uh, there can be some suicidal or uh, attempts or some you know um, adverse uh, sort of reactions from us that we might you know indulge in in self harm or uh, suicidal uh, attempts or something like that so uh, it's very important that uh, if if uh, there is someone close to us even if we cannot tell our parents then everyone sometimes has someone close to them maybe a friend or a confidant or an aunt or an uncle or a cousin so please tell at least one person that you are suffering someone in your life that you are suffering from this and try to get professional help from wherever you can and if there is no professional help available for that person we all other people around that uh, the individual also need to be vigilant like if you if you 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 people are young people right you need to be aware that if there is a, someone uh, you know amongst your friend circle your peers who is suffering from uh, who appears to be suffering from depression or anxiety or any sort of psychological distress then please uh, first of all be supportive and try to get that person uh, professional help okay In Pakistan there is a major lack of health literacy that is why we took it upon ourselves to try and change that or at least make a difference no matter how small so what did we do have a look we went to different classrooms in our school to educate young children on the issue created a website for the project we put up posters we set up an instagram page posting information about depression our main focus raising One thing that must be made clear is that depression isn't the only mental health condition that is neglected. 10 to 16% of people in Pakistan's population suffer from mental illnesses, and the majority of these victims of mental illnesses are women. There are other mental illnesses that are looked down on, misunderstood, and feared. To make a change, start by educating those around you. tell them that mental illness is not a joke it is nothing supernatural and it most certainly isn't the fault of the person suffering from it tell them to keep an eye out for depression anxiety etc if you feel that you yourself might be suffering from a mental illness as dr fatima altaf said you need medical help denial is not the cure